hello everyone welcome to rpa learners and in this video we are going to see the first phase of an rpa life cycle which is discovery so what does discovery mean discovery mean looking for the right process or the right um, manual steps which is processed by the business team or the, within the business what are the manual tasks they are doing finding those processes is the first phase of an RPA life cycle which is discovered so let's um, let me show you an example of that here and let's say uh, we have a website which is rpalearners.com right and uh, let's say at the end of the day uh, we have four or five users four or five users sending their their queries on the contact form of RPA learners right let's assume that every day I'm getting let's say it 10 or 100 or 200 number of contacts every day right and, and what i was doing is i was get taking those queries from the users and entering into a management system service management system like service now and creating an incident so that we can get track of what are the queries that we already resolved so this is a set of steps the manual steps that are repetitive steps there is no intervention between them uh, we can get those data and fill in the forms in the service now will create an incident and that can be automated right there is no other step which is leads to other uh, human intervention or any other pauses for the bot so so this can be automated and this is one of the discovery that we can automate this process and make rpa work these steps in a sequential order so this is the discovery phase i will show you the process which i was talking about and let me the admin and let me type the password and after getting those details cumulatively in an excel i will get those details in a shared folder let's assume that i will get those in a shared folder after that i will come here i will click on I will type incidents I will type incidents here and then go to service desk incidents and I will click on new and I will enter those uh, details from the Excel which is taken from the Excel and I will submit it and create a new ticket for this and then I will log out so these are the manual steps on the steps that we discovered that can be suitable for rpa and this is the first phase of selecting a process for rpa and that's it for this video if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please consider subscribing for more videos thanks for watching